The Activity Builder is a new feature of Notebook 11 software that allows you to create interactive drag and drop activities that actually respond to student choices. It's a little bit more in depth than just touching an item and having a sound. You can actually move things and they respond and interact. This feature is very easy to set up and use. I want to teach you how to do it for yourself, but also for some of my smart board lessons that I've created. I've noticed that this feature is sometimes seems to be unstable and rather than abandoning the feature altogether I want to um, show you how to repair it because I think it's still very valuable and I'm sure this feature will get more stable as the uh, smart support sends out upgrades. The, the object of this uh, page is for my students uh, to associate a quarter note with a candy bar that makes one sound, crunch, or Tootsie Roll to this rhythm, or Hershey's to the eighth notes right there. So I want them to somehow have a way to respond. To build the activity, in the right side here, there is the puzzle piece, and that is the icon that opens up the activity builder window. I uh, click on an item like my quarter note. Notice that it's locked. It doesn't matter. It still works. Click that item on and say edit. When I say edit, two windows pop op open and I drag over the one that I want to be accepted. Crunch. Everything else I want to be rejected. So I'm going to say add all remaining right there. And it instantly knows what to do and puts all of those in there. Oopsie. Notice that my little girl went in there too. That's because she's not locked. So I don't want her to be in there. I'm going to pull her out of the trash can and I'm going to lock her down so she won't do that again. Okay. And then after I have everything in there, I say done. Next, I choose my eighth note pair. And I say edit. When I say edit, two windows pop open. I'm going to pull over Hershey's to be accepted. And everything else, I want to be rejected. And I say done. Now I have the sixteenth and the eighth note. I say edit. And pull over Juicy Fruit. Tootsie Roll and Almond Joy. And you can tell if it's been accepted because it has the check. So Juicy Fruit didn't quite make it. I'll try that again. It's highlighted. It should be in there. And then reject all remaining. There we go. And say done. Now if you want to change some of the features you can at this point before you say done you can go to the settings and you can choose what animation there is fade out fly out snap or spin you can have it play a sound you can choose the animation of the object that is rejected all at that point when you're in your settings and say done now everything should be working just fine so if I pull down almond joy here that's gonna bounce right back because it's not accepted my Hershey's will be accepted here and should be fading out. Juicy Fruit should go right here. Perfect. Tootsie Roll, if I put it in the wrong spot, it bounces back. And so forth. It's a really cool way um, to have interaction. They can see it immediately. And from time to time, if you need to repair uh, smart board lessons, you'll know how to do it.